Am I the asshole for lashing out on my boyfriend after he insulted my parents because they kept asking about his divorced parents? I, 20 female, met my boyfriend, 20 male, in high school, but we both started dating nine months ago. He's a good guy, calm, and rarely gets angry. His parents aren't the best. When he was a kid, they were always busy with work, so he used to be left with his grandma, and whenever they were together, they fought. When my boyfriend was 17, his mum caught his dad cheating, and that's when the divorce was finalised. He doesn't like to talk about his parents. My parents, on the other hand, are happy together. So about one month ago, my boyfriend met my parents for the first time. My parents are the old school type. They think that divorce is selfish and it destroys relationships and your image in society. So it went well until the topic of his divorced parents was brought up. My parents were surprised, so they kept asking more. Like, why did the divorce happen? How did he feel when the divorce happened? Why didn't he stop them? Etc. Now, I know this was wrong, so I tried to stop them from asking about his parents, but they didn't. At the end, they said they want to meet my boyfriend's parents only because they want to be more close with the family. He agreed after a lot of hesitation. A few days later, me, my parents, my boyfriend, and his divorced parents were sitting together having dinner. The atmosphere was so tense that I already started regretting this. Halfway into the dinner, and his parents started arguing probably because of some talk of divorce was brought up and they were busy blaming each other. At that point, my boyfriend visibly looked like he was about to lose it. So instead of saying anything, he just got up with me following him as I wanted to apologize. The minute I started apologizing to him, he lashed out at me with saying things like, you know the condition between my parents, right? Yet you didn't stop your parents from organizing all of this, etc. I took all of the remarks that he was throwing at me, but then he brought up my parents and said, your parents are just like you, nosy. Don't they understand that not all couples have a fairy tale story like them? Even in that first meeting, they kept on asking me about my parents. Don't they have anything better to do than prying on others' lives? Can't they freaking stay out of my family matters? Now, I knew he was mad at my parents and it was understandable, but talking like that about them was not acceptable for me. So I argued back by saying, don't speak like that about my parents. They just wanted to know more about their only daughter's boyfriend. It's not their fault that your parents' relationship is effed up. And after like 15 minutes of arguing, he left along with his parents. It's been almost two weeks since me and my boyfriend have talked with each other, and now I'm starting to question whether I was the wrong one. My parents say I did the right thing, but my friends say that I went a bit overboard, and now I'm confused. I want to know whether I was really the one at fault. So Reddit, am I the asshole? And edit, I would like to add that this guy is my first boyfriend ever and I am very open with my parents, i.e. they know everything about me, so they would obviously like to meet my first boyfriend and his family. I am his girlfriend too and his parents also agreed for the dinner. They said that they would love to meet their son's first girlfriend and her family. They hate each other, but not their son. So all the people who think that the parents forced the other party to come, no, they didn't. It was a mutual decision. OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. I feel like I might be the asshole because instead of talking calmly with my boyfriend, I lashed out at him, which just made the matters worse. And now in the comments, you're the asshole. Your parents were out of line and you took their side. Your boyfriend is correct about your parents. How the hell was your boyfriend supposed to stop his parents' divorce? Your parents are also out of touch with reality. You're the asshole. Your parents were rude and invasive, and you allowed it to happen despite knowing how he felt, and then berated him when he got predictably very upset with you? Lol? WTF? You're the asshole for defending your parents' behavior. It's one thing to say, please don't swear at me, I can't control them, but you are actually defending them. His parents' divorce is no one's business. Your parents are rude and an embarrassment and deserve to be cut off by boyfriend and his family. Everyone sucks here. I don't understand why you and your boyfriend allow this to happen. No is a complete sentence. You're the asshole. How is this a question? There isn't any trying to stop your parents from asking questions. How about this? Hey guys, it's not your business, and the topic is obviously making boyfriend uncomfortable, so stop. 
There was nothing wrong with them trying to get to know him, but that's not what they were doing. They were sticking their nose in another family's business. You are lucky your boyfriend is as calm as he is. My response at the first dinner would have been, my parents' relationship is none of your business. Stop asking about it like it is, and if I caught any lip about it, I would have left without another word. Your family needs boundaries. Also, abso effing lutely insane that you all thought that it was a great idea to have a divorced couple over for dinner. Yeah, what could go wrong, right? Also, you're right. It isn't your fault his parents are divorced. It is your fault that you're a shitty partner and you actively made the whole situation worse for him. Good job. And now onto the update. Hi everyone, it's been a week since I made that post and I've been recently getting messages asking me about what I did next. So here is an update. Since two weeks, I was busy with college events, so I didn't get time to call him. But after I made that post and read every comment, I started realizing how wrong I was. I felt horrible for not understanding myself that I was the wrong one. I decided that now I have to meet him to apologize, so I called and requested that I needed to see him. He just said okay, and we met at a cafe that evening. When he arrived, he just had a blank face, which made me realize that things will never be the same for us. I apologized to him for everything for not stopping my parents from asking questions about his parents, for letting them organize that dinner, for lashing out at him, and for not apologizing earlier. Also, I felt like after this, his feelings for me must have changed, and as some of you said, I realized that I may not be the one for him, and he deserved a better girl who could understand him more clearly. So I added that if he now hates me and wants to break up, then it's okay. He finally spoke and admitted that what I said did hurt him. He said that he didn't like talking about his parents, but he didn't say that to my parents because he wanted them to have a good impression of him. He thought I would understand him, but I didn't. He also apologized for yelling at me. At the end, he confessed that he doesn't hate me, but the love that he had for me has decreased, and that if we continue being together, it would only hurt me because I still loved him, but he wouldn't be able to return the same love back and he didn't want that. To be honest, that sentence did hurt me because I still love him and had a tiny hope that we would still be together. Sorry, I know this is selfish, but breaking up with him was the last thing I could do after all the pain he suffered because of me. So yep, we officially broke up. He said that we can still remain in contact, but I hope we don't. I also confronted my parents and told them what they did was extremely insensitive. But they said that as parents, it is their right to know everything about their child's partner and that it's good that we broke up because since he came from such a troubled family, they were worried that the same would happen with me if we both get married. I was bewildered because I didn't expect my parents to think like that. I told them that if they continue this behavior, I would stop introducing anyone to them. They were angry, but agreed. So yep, that's it. I also want to thank all the Redditors who were honest about how wrong my actions were. I am truly thankful to all of you as it made me understand my fault and I will try my best to improve myself. I also hope that my now ex-boyfriend finds a girl who would understand him better and he stays happy. Thank you. And now in the comments, shocked Pikachu face. You took two weeks to call him and you apparently love him? Clearly not as much as you think you do. Yes, you're right. If she really loved him and wanted to make up, she would have made time. This is what I took from this. If she had called that day, maybe she'd be able to fix things. Apparently her boyfriend wasn't important enough to call right away. OP is not ready for a relationship. You should probably reevaluate your relationship with your parents, especially the relation to your personal life and how much about it they know. Otherwise this or something worse will happen. OP, I think you've taken a real lesson from all of this, and that is to be applauded. A ton of other people would have dug in and argued about why they were right, and the rest of the world was delusional. But you read the comments and took it in, and you had real growth. I know it's not the outcome you wanted, but to be honest, this was a valuable experience. You saw firsthand how your parents treated your significant other, and how your significant other's boundaries were not respected in the name of protecting you. Hopefully this is a wake up call for you that your parents suck. I like the part where her parents think that he's the one with a troubled family. 
Their ability to respect boundaries and not pass judgment is non-existent. They are so smug and just over the top with their intrusive and unwelcome examination of guests. And also, since the parents believe you shouldn't get divorced because your social reputation will take a hit, I wonder at the state of their own marriage. We can't be sure that it's happy fairy tale days. Better to be happily divorced than unhappily married. Why didn't he stop them divorcing? What was he supposed to do, steal the paperwork? No, he was supposed to find his long lost twin at summer camp and set up an elaborate ruse to make his parents realize the love they've always had for each other. Wow, OP, your parents must be fun at parties. Hi, nice to meet you for the very first time. Do you have any trauma you don't want to talk about? Excellent, let's talk about it. Let's pass every frickin' detail until you hate us and it literally destroys relationships. This will be the topic of conversation for the next three hours or until you have a panic attack, whichever comes second. Our next post is titled, Poisoned at Family Dinner. I'm currently on vacation visiting family for Christmas. I'm 20 female, a vegan by choice. However, I am allergic to red meat. I was bitten by a Lone Star tick, which caused me to develop a severe allergy to meat. My family makes fun of me for being vegan, though I cook for myself for all meals and I don't mention it much at all. Anyway, I guess some of my extended family didn't know the severity of my allergy because my younger cousin chopped up some steak, extremely finely I guess, and put it in my butternut squash soup. Shortly after I ate some of my soup, I couldn't breathe and was breaking out in hives. I woke up in the hospital on Christmas Day. My mom called an ambulance when she saw my face was swelling. My cousin didn't say sorry when I started breaking out in hives. He started laughing and told me what he had done. I woke up to a text of him saying, stop overreacting, you need protein, with a picture of a slaughtered cow. His parents aren't very well off. In fact, I don't think they even have insurance. I just wanna know, should I pursue a legal case or is that an overreaction? And now in the comments, that text is essentially a confession and it doesn't do anything to create the impression that he didn't know the severity. It may be read as him accusing you of exaggerating it. You have medical evidence that that isn't true, so let the police sort it out. He has more than earned the hassle. Have you considered filing a police report? And OP says, it hasn't really crossed my mind. My boyfriend told me to post here for advice. I just don't want to tear my family apart. You can legally record phone calls without the other party's permission in Nebraska, but not in-person conversations. I would ring up and get them to confess and ask them to reimburse you anything you have to pay out of pocket for the hospital stay. You said they don't have much? Tell them to sell your cousin's belongings to pay if they can scrounge the cash up. Sending you messages like that after you were taken to hospital unconscious shows the kid needs to be taught how serious it was. You literally could have died. Imagine if you went to the toilet and no one noticed you were gone for 30 minutes. Make a police report as well. Get a reference number for it so you have a record of it. People that stupid will probably try again to prove that you somehow faked a medical emergency. You were not tearing the family apart. You were making an idiot face the repercussions for almost killing you. Probably because of the idiocy his parents fed him about you being vegan. And OP says, you're right, he does need to be taught a lesson, but I don't want him to go to jail or have this on his record permanently. If his parents have homeowners or renters insurance, their liability coverage may take care of your bills. You would have to show that your cousin knew or should have known that you were allergic to meat and knowingly deceived you. It's not clear from your narrative if that's the case. Also, the insurance wouldn't cover you if your cousin intentionally did this. Did you previously inform the cousin or the owner of the kitchen in use in writing that you had this allergy? Was this soup made for you or did you prepare it yourself and walk away? Lastly, do you have medical bills because of this that were not covered by insurance? And OP says, yes, everyone in the family knows I have a meat allergy. I just don't think he thought that it was very serious or he thought that I was just an annoying vegan pretending to be allergic to meat. I'm honestly not sure. I prepared my soup the day before and I just heated it in the microwave. I put it in the microwave and took it out myself. I turned around for one second to get water and returned to the dinner table to eat my soup with my family. And now on to the update. 
Hey guys, I first just want to thank you all for the support regarding my last post. I've had a free consultation with a personal injury lawyer and have filed a police report like many of you suggested. I let my cousin, aunt, and uncle know this, and they immediately ended up offering to pay my hospital bill and ambulance ride in full. My cousin gave me a half-hearted apology, and his parents told me they won't be leaving the house for the next year and will be severely punished for this. I have decided not to press charges. I don't really have the money or time for it, and all I needed was my medical expenses paid. I just plan on not going to any family gatherings where he is for a long, long, long time. Thanks again for all the love and support. And now in the comments, what is it with people who don't believe in allergies? Who thinks giving an allergic person the food they can't eat is somehow good for them? I can't fathom this at all. And edit, personally, I have a bunch of allergies too. But with food, I really just have intolerances to both dairy and eggs. I just say I'm allergic because it's easier. Also, since so many people are telling crazy stories about their allergies, once a girl sat next to me wearing a fuzzy sweater and within 10 minutes my eyes were red and I was sneezing uncontrollably. I didn't even touch her clothes, but she had to take the sweater off and put it away. That was when I found out I was allergic to mohair. People like this are baffling to me. My grandma is 87. I just mentioned to her on the phone that I recently found out that I'm allergic to almonds and she thanked me for letting her know so that she would avoid recipes with almonds when I visit. It is that easy. She didn't need me to prove it, she just wanted a heads up so that there weren't any uncomfortable incidents. And she accepted it because she loves me and wants the best for me. People who test your allergies like that don't have your best interests in mind, and it's best to cut them out. I'm glad that OP's hospital bills are being paid by his idiot cousin's family. Good call to avoid that cousin in the future. And that's all I have time for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.